Hey everyone, it's Abby. We've been living in Wales for about four months now, and a few weeks ago we got the opportunity to go out to Trevor Hall in North Wales near Glenglaughlin. The British Guild of Historical Costume Makers that I'm a part of held a Welsh weekend where we got to dress up in historical costumes and do various activities in them. I've not had a chance to attend one of these before, and it was an amazing experience. Friday night was Victorian loungewear, and I got to wear my wrapper or tea gown. Husband and I chose to join the canal boat trip on Saturday, on a day that was absolutely the warmest, and we were all sweating in close quarters. Saturday evening was the murder mystery. We were both involved in that, so I didn't really get any footage, but I can show a few pictures. Sunday was the more relaxing day. I got footage of my day outfit and got to explore a bit. The evening we had a soiree where we got to wear our ball gowns again, and we even had a Kaylee. I did Scottish country dancing for many years when I was younger, from about age 14 to 25 or so in the States and in Canada, so I was really excited to get back to dancing. It's been a heck of a long time since I got to dance, so I was super excited for this. So let's take a look at the weekend. We drove up to the front of Trevor Hall through a gate off of a narrow gravel road. The house and grounds are normally used for weddings and other parties. I don't think they're used to having a group of historic costume makers stay, but various rooms and outdoor areas are perfect for this kind of thing. I wore my late Victorian nightgown and wrapper for Friday night, a relaxed night of hand sewing, knitting, games, and getting to know each other. The canal boat trip was tea time on Saturday. It was such a hot day and we weren't expecting the close quarters. Fans were the heroes of the day. But we still had an amazing time and we wandered Glenglaughlin after, startling many people along the way. The murder mystery was Saturday night. We all had roles to play to figure out who the murderer was. It was rather intricate. Well, here we are. Uh, we've been spending a weekend at Trevor Hall and it's uh, been a lot of fun with the what is it guild of historical costume makers costume makers in uh UK. <laughs> um i don't know this uh i haven't been around the grounds much yet i think uh, i've been done. on a little longer like <laughs> sorts and pictures got a bit of footage like, for my channel and stuff so yeah. <laughs> it's very pretty 
I'm, I, today is my day to wander and get some footage and we just thought we'd take a minute to just say hi from near the end of the weekend and uh, we're excited because of this worry tonight so I get to wear my ball gown again so I'll get some footage of that and I think you're going to wear yours. I am. Mine is where I've taken the skirt from the Giga outfit and I've made a new bodice for it. It remains to be seen whether the bodice actually fits or not, though. <laughs> I only draped it on the mannequin. I never tried it on. <laughs> this is how we do. It's like you have to use the event to try the outfit on and then the event, it, it's like we now have five things to alter. <laughs> yeah. But I basically never had a ball gown before and I had to make two. <laughs> this is what we do for the thing we love. <laughs> But we're in a uh, nice little greenhouse with a uh, fountain behind us and I don't know, it's been really pretty. Yeah, yeah. And we've had some really nice weather. We have the sun during the day and then we have thunderstorms yeah. at night. I was really hoping that the thunder would carry on into the murder mystery. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been great ambiance. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, see you later on. I'm sure I'll get a few more uh, video bits. Um, I'm sure Tasha will as well. Yes. I have been vlogging while I've been here. So. I don't usually vlog, so I'll be doing some voiceover stuff. But Same. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Soiree, we are wearing our Sunday best. Oh yes, <laughs> all the silk, all the, the pretty shiny things. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a lot of fun. It is the final night here. Mm -hmm. We've got to be up very early in the morning oh. to get everything ready to leave. <laughs> but yeah, plan is enjoy the night and then hopefully I'll be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh gosh, I really hope I can sleep because we have to get up super early so that we can pick up the dogs. Well, the dogs are getting sent to us, but we have to be there by one and it's a long drive. So. Oh dear. I have got multiple trains. I might stop off in Liverpool and get something to eat. We've got to do a charge and get something to eat. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. But tonight is about fun and dancing and saying goodbye to everyone. <laughs> yes, it has been an awesome weekend. Oh, amazing. I have enjoyed it so much. Oh, yes, exceptional. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first thing I have done since before the pandemic. Oh, yes. So, yeah, this it's been a scary experience. My anxiety has been through the roof, but it's been so nice to be around people who are like-minded. Oh, it's been stuff. amazing. Yeah. This is my second only um, historical costuming thing that I've done since moving to the UK. So it's been very interesting and really just been a great experience. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm so glad that I did this and I cannot wait to do more. <laughs> oh yes, I'm excited for the future. <laughs> so this is Casca and Abby signing Abby off. <laughs> signing off. Bye. 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 Yeah. And then you yeah. A twirl of skirts started with two, and then became three and more. We realized we needed more room, and all got in on the twirling. Anytime you hear a high-pitched laugh, that's me. <laughs> Some of us got a little dizzy or into a ball gown train fight. Hilarity ensued. Thank <laughs> you.
Some of us in Silk didn't want to get caught in the rain, so we ran inside. An impromptu dance party waiting for the rain happened for a bit. We moved to the dance party inside and were able to have a small Kaylee in the dining room space. I was so happy. Our fearless dance teacher helped keep us on track.
For joining me today as I took you along with me on the Welsh weekend getaway with the British Guild of Historical Costume Makers. We had an amazing time doing so many things in our handmade historical costumes and getting to see each other's creations in person was such a treat. I also got to meet Casca from Crafting with Casca. We've known each other online since I started this channel here. I'm sure we'll get more opportunities to hang out in the future. If you liked this video and want to see more sewing and costume videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing! There's a beanie one up here too. Come here. Come on. Oh, there she is. All right. There's a spot right there. <laughs> As you can see, the dogs have been very clingy since we got back two weeks ago. I mean... We only left them from Thursday to Monday, but they are limpets, mollusks. Oh my goodness. They're very clingy girls, but they had a very good time meeting other dogs. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Oh goodness. Shh. 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 Shh.